What is up guys, Solomar Tristan here bringing you ghostly advice and in this episode I'm not going to be answering the basic what do I do if I want to ask a girl out kind of question. So, let's get right into it. Hey pal, there's this crazy A mother effer at my school who's obsessed with me. She never stops texting me and asks me out like it, they listed a number like almost at Google. <laughs> um, I told her straight to her face I don't like her and to leave me alone but she won't stop. By the way, I'm not gay, just to clarify things, what do I do? Um... You really need to tell her, like, tell her, like, I again and again, like, every time she tries doing something. And if it gets, like, super, super bad, even, like, alert the school or something, because this is kind of ridiculous. And you shouldn't have to be, like, tormented by this girl, like, constantly, like, wanting your D and you don't want her. So, uh, yeah, I hope this helps. I don't know what her deal is or <laughs> whatever, but, uh, you need to make it perfectly clear to her. I know that you've tried, but you just, just keep trying. And, uh, try to ignore her as much as you can. Eventually, she'll stop craving the attention that, like, she'll, yeah, and she should leave you alone. But, yeah, she sounds crazy, dude. She might need to get checked into a mental, mental institution. Okay. All right. I used to date this girl, and, um, I really liked her, but rumors spread that I was cheating on her, and I wasn't. We broke up after that, and she was really hurt. How can I prevent this from happening again? Thanks. Well, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to talk to her. I don't assume that you went up to her and explained the whole story. Because there's two sides to every story. And she probably didn't know that, you know, I didn't cheat on her. These are just rumors. You know, there's no evidence. You can look through my phone. You can look through... Like, you need to offer her proof that you did not cheat on her. And um, it's hard to prove a negative. But if you can do it, you're golden. So, my best luck is talking to them about it. Definitely, uh, you know be like, you know, I didn't cheat on you, I really like you, and, uh, you, you can go through my phone, you can go through my message, you can go through my email, anything like that, and then you should probably see you email me, this guy, and, um, yeah, you can, yeah, just please talk to her, and that's how you prevent it from happening in the future, it's like, these are just rumors, these people don't like me, I really like you, you know, can we at least talk this out or whatever, so, yeah, don't let that happen again, you got this, okay. Hey, dude, my friend and I started the YouTube channel, Not Caught, and we're wondering what she'd what we should do to grow our subs and views. Currently, we have a total of zero. P.S. The channel name is um, Pyromaniac3645. And he said it's a bad name. Now, what I would do if I were you is I would make a different channel name. And now, here's why. Channel names, um, if you notice a lot of the big, like, YouTubers and stuff, they don't have numbers in them. They're, like, um, I'm not saying, like, I have a huge channel because I don't have numbers in mine. I'm not saying you can't get a big channel with with having numbers and years, but it's really easy to remember something like Woody's Gamer Tag, Ghost Sickness, White Boy 7th Street, like his is kind of different because it's like 7th, and like I don't know, but um, having a bunch of random numbers like outside, someone could remember Pyromaniac, but they maybe not, they might not be able to remember the 3645, so they might not be able to find your channel, so I hope this helps in the name aspect, but what you're going to want to do is you're going to make video, you're going to want to make videos that are like relevant, don't, um, well you could do classic games I guess, but the description and tags are extremely important, make sure every little letter, sorry, in your title is capital not every letter every letter of the beginning word is capital just like all the other youtubers do it and as myself and um like for d title and description and description fill out all the information that your video is actually about so maybe it's a call of duty commentary well you said not cod but maybe it's like a minecraft commentary and like list like if you're doing adventure map for minecraft or something like that whatever it is that you're doing list the game list what you're doing list the map so when people search it they will find your videos and put the same kind of stuff in the tags. Um, you can also find a link if you go to TGN.tv. I'm not with TGN Network, but we're still um with the same like other network. That's ah okay. Sorry, it's kind of complicated, but TGN has a handbook on this kind of thing, and tags are very important. So it's description, titling, and all that great stuff. So you can grow your channel that way to get you know like so when people search you, you'll be found. So I really hope that helps, and uh, good luck on that YouTube channel. Okay. Hey GS, I'm a big fan of your videos, especially the ghostly advice. I had a problem today, I was wondering if you could fix it. Today in class, we were in groups. I went to sharpen my pencil and coming back, some girls like, you know what they say about small shoes. I looked down and compression shorts, short underwell, was <laughs> my dick pressing out to the side, making it look like I had a small boner. Then at the end of class, um, one of the girls told me her friend uh, said that I have a small you-know-what, which I don't. Uh, <laughs> which Who doesn't shut... Which I don't to a girl who doesn't shut her mouth. I'm going back to school tomorrow and uh, a loud girl is in my class. What should I say to her? 
and or any other girl talks to me about it you can feature this in your video but any response would be awesome now what i would do personally i would be like you want to see like um I, I could prove it to you i didn't you know like i would have told him like i was soft at the moment but it looked like i was hard uh, i could prove it to you that i'm not small but as creepy as that is um i would do it because you know i don't want them them to think that i have a small you know what and um yeah well, i couldn't let that go pass around so i would try that and, um, if it gets really bad and you have tried that, definitely try that, by the way. It'd be hilarious. And, um, because I, I suggest that this girl is, well, I, I think that she's, like, hot or something. Like, that's my best guess is because most women that are, like, really, really, like, mean are usually pretty hot. So, that's why they're mean. Um, anyway, try that. And then if it gets really bad, just ignore the whole thing. This will blow over. It doesn't really matter. And if you're trying to hook up with the girl in the future, just be like, you know, um, I, I don't. That's just a rumor. And, you know, she may ask you to prove yourself. I don't know. I don't know these women. But um, that's what, honestly what I would do. I really hope this helps you guys. And uh, in the description below, you can find my email. So please email me there. I will see you guys later. Have a great day.